today on South Walton Fishing Adventures. Hey guys, Captain Hunter Ray with Florida Boy Adventures here in beautiful South Walton. We got a client from Dallas, Texas going with me today. Oh yeah. There he is. That setup right there is exclusively for sight fishing. Yeah, I he's think he's a little he's, bigger than the last one. I think. Think he's, a, he's definitely over 27. Beautiful, yeah. Beauty. Welcome to South Walton, 26 miles of sugar white sand located along Northwest Florida's Gulf Coast. It's home to 16 unique beach neighborhoods and a collection of coastal dune lakes. South Walton is a destination for family, friends, and the world's top fishermen. From beginner boaters to professional anglers, outdoorsmen love wandering the waves of the Gulf of Mexico, boating along the Choctahatchee Bay, and gliding across freshwater lakes. Not only do South Walton's waterways attract rare species and determined sportsmen, but its world-class dining scene boasts some of the best seafood the Gulf has to offer. An eclectic, award-winning collection of restaurants reels in foodies from around the globe. So come with us on a South Walton adventure to follow fishermen from the time they pack up their tackle box to when they sit down for a seafood feast. It's South Walton Fishing Adventure. Welcome to Point Washington Landing, located on the scenic Choctahatchee Bay in South Walton, Florida. Hey guys, Captain Hunter Ray with Florida Boy Adventures here in beautiful South Walton. We're gonna be going out of Point Washington Landing here at the end of 395 in Point Washington. You can be literally from the beach to right here in three minutes. It's a great spot, it's secluded, it's on Tucker Bayou right here by Eden State Gardens, which is a state park. You've got endless kayaking paddleboard opportunities from right here. Great fishing right here off the dock. We got a client from Dallas, Texas going with me today. We're gonna go chase some redfish on the flats, hopefully find some schooling fish. We're in the intercoastal waterway. It's about 15 or 16 foot deep out here in the middle. And on the banks, you've got about 20 foot of flat and then it starts dropping off. And these reds have been either sunning up on top of the flat or right on the ledge where it drops off coming back down. So we're gonna leave out of here. We're gonna head across to the north side. We got a north wind this morning blowing. So we're gonna head across the bay. The sun's coming up. So we're gonna be able to hopefully see the fish. We're gonna get, get in the depth we think they're in, put the trolling motor down and just go fishing. We're gonna look for some tailing fish, look for some pushes, hopefully see a big school of them. So the red fishing here, is they're here year round. Winter time, they're typically schooled up on the flats. Winter time, we have lower water with more north winds that keeps the water blown out of the bay. So you wanna focus on like deeper holes. If you know where there's a deeper hole on a flat, usually that's where the fish will be holding, where it's a little deeper. Um, we've got a really good population of bull reds too that stay around year round. Sometimes they school up out in the middle and then other times they're just on the flats. Like right now, I haven't seen them out in the middle. I've seen more of them on the flats and in your deeper bayous and creeks and stuff like that. But we have a really good red fisher. We have a good trout fishery too, but I just grew up red fishing. That's just my passion. I like to chase red fish. They well, they're more fun. They're more fun to catch. Yeah. Stay tuned for more fun from South Walton Fishing Adventures. To learn more about South Walton, go to visitsouthwalton.com. To begin planning your next adventure, request a visitor guide at visitsouthwalton.com. Located on Northwest Florida's Gulf Coast, South Walton is continually recognized as a premier destination. From grand beach houses overlooking the Gulf of Mexico to cozy romantic cottages, South Walton has a wide variety of beach accommodations, ideal for the perfect vacation for two or 20 people. There are also full service resorts to pamper you, family friendly hotels to keep you comfortable, and campsites and RV resorts to get you close to nature. Well, what we're doing, we're just drifting real quiet down this flat because these reds can be kind of spooky when you're in real shallow water like this. So we're just drifting, we got the wind pushing us perfect right down the edge of the flat. And I'm just looking for darker spots, looking for fish swimming. This water is crystal clear right now. 
when I'm throwing this flats jig, when they see it, you just want to kill it. You just want to leave it on the bottom. As soon as he reacts to it, you just let him come make it his idea to eat it. If I hook this fish up, I'm going to hand it to you. Okay. Just don't move. <laughs> All right. Got it. Don't give him any slack. Just pull up and reel down. Pull up and reel down. Couple turn. They're on the front of it. Oh, rear, 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 rear. Don't give him any slack. If you give him any slack, he'll pull that hook off. These things will actually bury their nose into the ground. If, when you give them slack, they'll just put their nose in the ground and shake their head till they pop that hook out. Oh, yeah. crazy a school of fish that big can be in this shallow water and you wouldn't know it just looking out there. There he is. That's a pretty decent one. But that one's got to be thrown back, right? Yeah, this one's a little too big to keep. This one's bigger than the measuring board I have. Redfish in the state of Florida is 18 to 27 inches. You can keep them anywhere in that slot. The fish we're after today are all gonna be upper slot or over. You can keep one redfish per person or six per boat, whichever's less. I mean, he was a fighter, he's a pretty big fish. I love the color on him. He was in a big school of reds off the side of the boat when I rode over him. Yeah, get the markings on the tail too. It's a really nice overslot redfish in about 32, 33 inches. Typical school and bull redfish for this time of year in the Choctahatchee Bay. They, for some reason, some days they push in super shallow like today, and some days you find them offshore. But when they're schooled up like that, they can be really aggressive and they just jump right on the bait. That's a pretty fish right there. Hopefully we can release him and show us where all of his buddies went. That was a huge school right there. All right, guys, let's go get another one. All right. Here you go, come here. Hey, hey, come here. Grab this one. Hand me that rod. There's a lot of them. Here you go, that's a slot fish. Don't give him any slot. Here you go. Got him? Real, 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 No, you're good. Hey, let me move, let me get this spoon. Where'd they get? There's a lot of them. Oh, hold on. Uh huh? He turned on it, but I didn't make a great cast on it. You still see him out there? I was. I'm not seeing him now. What pound test you have on here? That you're using eight pound braid with 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. That's a light, light setup. That setup right there is exclusively for sight fishing. So I would like to double up. Yeah, I he's think a little he's, bigger than the last one. I think. I think he's, not, he's definitely over 27. I think he is bigger than the last one. He was in super, super shallow water. It's crazy how that school was in there chasing bait. Like that's the first sign of spring right here, because they have not been this active as far as chasing bait and everything. So hopefully, 
that means it's warm weather and pretty weather from here on out. Beautiful Chattahatchee Bay specimen. Yeah, that big head. old blue tail right there. There's probably, it was a little wolf pack is what I would call it, about 10, 8 to 10 fish, something like that. We'll be right back with more South Walton fishing adventures. So this time of year, spring break's always a good time to fish. The weather can always be a little iffy during the spring, you know, you never know what you're going to get. But the good thing about this fishery is we have a good deep water fishery, structure fishery, and flats fishery. So if it's rough, we've got bayous and creeks we can go in and fish docks and fish deeper holes. If it's calm and clear like this, obviously we can get out here and do a little bit. But pretty much all throughout the year, there's something biting in South Walton that you can find a good fishery all throughout the year. Just a beautiful place to vacation and we come and it's not very crowded, it's, it's relaxing and it's just a really good place to vacation and visit. Oh, here you go, here, here, slot. It looks like he's got it. Slot here. I thought he was going Just don't let him get you in these docks. There's your dinner tonight, you ready? Go for it. Reel on it. Reel, 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 reel. Keep reeling. Hold him out away from that dock. Keep him to the right. I got the trolling motor off. I need that in the trolling Bring him right here. I'm really ready to come <laughs> He had another there. idea. God. Yeah, that's a nice upper slot. We got Florida Boy Adventures Guide Service putting you on some beautiful South Walton redfish. Upper slot fish. This one right here is going on the grill tonight. Y'all come get some. So we switched spots. We finally got the wind we wanted. The sun's right over our head so we can see a long way. So we came in here to a little shallower flat, kind of going down some docks, looking for singles and doubles, laying up under these docks, waiting to ambush bait. And we're just going along here looking for them when we spot them. We're putting the bait right there in front of their mouth and letting them eat. Now he's going to get himself ate tonight. Well, we went and looked around. We had to kind of adjust our approach a little bit. The fish we were on early this morning, it was still real calm. They were a little spooky. Saw a bunch of fish, ended up bumping a couple schools, getting on a few. Mike put a couple of really nice ones in the boat. And then uh, we finished off with a good slot fish this afternoon. They kind of got settled down a little bit once the wind came out of the south. The water cleared up a little bit. Got a little bit of water movement going. Great experience, great time. Could do this every day if I, <laughs> if I had a chance. But yeah, a lot of fun. It was a really beautiful day here in South Walton. We saw a whole bunch of fish. Had a few willing participants. Had some really good fights, some really good pictures, and great memories. While Hunter cleans the fish, let's see what Sandestin Golf and Beach Resort is getting ready for. Hi, my name is Adam Alfonso. I'm with the Emerald Coast Blue Marlin Classic here at Sand Dustin Gulf and Beach Resort. Uh, the Emerald Coast Blue Marlin Classic has been around for 16 years. We are one of the largest events in the country and one of the largest events in the world. We were uh, voted by Marlin Magazine in the top five billfish tournaments in the world and the top five richest billfish tournaments in the world. So it's a really exciting event that happens here at Sand Dustin in South Walton. We typically have uh, 80 plus boats that are participating in the tournament with over 400 anglers. Uh, all these boats range in size from a 50 foot all the way up to 100 foot. Hi, my name is Jason Drawn. I'm the activity director here at Sandestin. Uh, I've been a part of the ECBC from the beginning. During the, the week of the event, we have a lot of uh, uh, events that go on. We have a kids fishing tournament, uh, fireworks show Friday nights. We have over, I think it's uh, 47 vendor booths set up that you can come and uh, shop and, and mingle. The night of the tournament, Saturday night, weigh-ins, is probably one of my favorite events here in South Walton. Um, hundreds of uh, people that come to view 
the excitement of this marlin coming in, weighing in uh, hundreds of pounds, just to see this thing getting hoisted up on the scales, it's just something amazing. If you're a serious angler and you're interested in participating in our tournament, uh, you can find more information at fishecbc.com. Or if you'd like to bring the family in and come be a spectator, uh, visit our website, fishecbc.com, or follow us on Facebook. We'll have all the activities going on and we give lots of great giveaways through our social media outlets. Uh, and if you're interested in coming to visit South Walton, uh, visit the South Walton website at www.visitsouthwalton.com. Hey, this is John Jacob from Seven Weight Charters. We're down here in Hogtown Bayou doing a trip out of Choctahatchee Bay. Hi, my name is Jeff. I'm down here at South Walton visiting some really good friends. I'm from Texas and I got hooked up with John and we're here to, to catch some redfish and speckled trout on fly rod. So today we're going to go out in, uh, in search of redfish and speckled trout and um, it's pretty windy out here today but uh, we're going we're gonna to hit the lee shore of some bayous. We're here at the, in uh, the Choctahatchee Bay which is named after the Choctaw Indians. I'm loving it. This is awesome. It's a beautiful place to be. Am I going too fast? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. There you go. Keep on bringing them in. Oh, pretty fish. Beautiful fish. Beauty. Beauty. Oh. Easy, easy, easy. Oh man, we just had one just just get off right at the boat. What a beautiful fish that was. I was bringing him to you and it just... Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> Speckled trout have a really thin lip. They call them, actually, some people call them yellow mouths. They have a real thin lip and if I had to guess... I think I ripped it out. It's, it's separated out of, out of his lip, yeah. Right. That was a beautiful fish though. Very nice. nice. I've never really seen one up close, I don't think. That does happen, I mean, because the trout, they do have a very thin membrane mouth, and um, they come undone, they come off. I was trying to drag him into the net. Yeah, I was still trying to hook him when he was gone. <laughs> Y'all had to break the news to me. Yeah. <laughs> so we're over here on this flat now, and we've had some shots of some redfish, but I think they're just sunning. They're not, they're not eating. We've had a couple uh, follows, but no eats, but um, you know, fish, Fish just like to stay warm too, but we're gonna head over to this uh, secret spot that I have, and we're actually gonna get out of the boat and we're gonna wade fish out there. And um, it's actually pretty much my favorite way to fish. I just like to become with one with them, so to speak. And there he is, he's hooked up. He's got a nice fish on. I can tell it's a nice one. It's taking line out and um, He's doing a good job, not trying to hoss it in too hard, and um, it's going to be a nice fish. I believe it's probably going to be a redfish the way it's fighting. Man, what a great fish. What a beautiful fish. Look at the colors on that thing. Jeff did an incredible job presenting that fly. Let it, let it sink, and you, you know, it sounds easy, but um, it's a patience. You just have to have the patience to let that fly sink and get down into the zone. And he did it and it's a beautiful fish. We're thrilled with this fish and um, we're probably going to head back after this. We're getting a little wind blown. Well, the secret spot worked once again. Old Jeff here, he casted, uh, I mean you can see these conditions we're in today. It's tough for any kind of fishing, let alone fly fishing. But we got the job done. I should say he got the job done. No, we did. You got, got the casts out there. And, that was um, pretty awesome. Well, it's been a great day, and I think we're going to head in. The, the wind is really picking up, and uh, I've, I've really enjoyed myself, and I think John is a, a very passionate fly fisherman, and I would recommend that to, to anybody that wants to fly fish uh, in the salt water. There's beauty. On the, On the fly. On the fly. There's no fly. other way That's to catch a fish. Thing.
There is no Nothing other way. Nothing like on the fly. Yep. That's a good spot. Don't tell anyone where it is. If you're interested in a fly fishing trip, you can visit me at sevenweightcharters.com. You can call me. My link is on there for uh, telephone and uh, Instagram and all the other social media outlets. And um, I'd love to have you. I get more joy out of other people catching fish. I swear I do. I just love it. If you guys are, are interested in coming down here to South Walton, just go to visitsouthwalton.com and come on down and call John and, and you'll have a ball. Maybe your family would like to experience an adventure of their own. If so, head on over to visitsouthwalton.com to start planning your trip. And we'll see you here next time for more South Walton fishing adventures.